Hey guys, back with a new video today. The reason for this video is that I've had these two Blu-rays in my collection unopened for like a while, so I figured I would do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, so I get a question a lot about why do I not make more videos, and basically it was because I'm a full-time student while also working, and right now from February through May is when I am in class and I just get so so busy um, so I've really tried but it just didn't work in with my schedule so I'm almost done with school so expect more stuff soon but anyway today um, I'm just gonna do like kind of an unboxing they're still they're just like wrapped um, spoiler alert uh, two silent film directors that I got off of eBay um, so yeah so I have the Alice Guy Blanchet Volume 2, because I couldn't find Volume 1 or something. Uh, Pioneer, uh, Pioneer's First Women Filmmakers, which is a Kino Classics release, uh, Library of Congress sticker there, and it's Volume 2, The Solax Years. Also, I apologize for the lighting in here. My bedroom light broke, so the lighting in here has been really bad. Um, so I have a ring light on, but I wear glasses, unfortunately, so you can see all the light, and yeah. So the second one I have here is the Forgotten Films of writer and director Julia Crawford Ivers, who I actually hadn't heard of before I ordered this. I did a little bit of research. Her wiki page is like this short. Um, it says that she was a screenwriter and that she like didn't want to be in the spotlight ever, so I guess this is kind of what we have from her, and it's the same uh, Pioneer Women in Film, uh, which is really awesome. So I just wanted to get these um, on Blu-ray, because I just thought that it would, just, it would be like an awesome add to my collection. So I'm going to do a little unboxing of them now. So again, I'm going to apologize for the glare here, um, but this is the first one, Alice Guy Blanchet, Volume 2, The Solax Years. And on the back here it lists all the films, which there's a ton. Most of them are shorts, um, but here's the back. So yeah. Uh, so Alice Guy Blanchet is famous for being pretty much like the pioneer director. Um, is what I'd consider her, no matter her gender or else. Now she's famous as being the first, like, women director, a uh, woman director. Uh, she studied at the Gaumont Studio in France, and then came to the United States, where she worked at Solax. Um, and she's pretty much credited with starting a lot of different type of film, um, you know, she did comedy, drama, you know, just straight documentaries, so I just think her films are super interesting, um, and I just think they're important to watch, you know, even if you're not completely enthralled by the plot or whatever. You know, I just think she's an important person in film history, so I definitely wanted to add this to my collection. Oh, wow. So this is what the inside looks like. Uh, there's the disc and this little booklet here few pages long, which is nice. The Solax Years Film Style Narration and Features. Oh wow, so this is a whole booklet about her film style um, and other things and probably information about like some of the films in here. So that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know this was going to be in here. I thought this was going to be pretty like bare bones, which it pretty much is, but this is a nice addition. Um, so I just want to see what films are on here. Okay, so I've seen a couple of these, but not many. I have a list in my letterbox, actually, of mostly shorts of hers, which I've seen. Um, so yeah, this is the Alice Guy Blanchet one, which, this is a cool set. So the next one I have here is the Julia Crawford Ivers, which I said before, I really do not know much about her at all, but, you know... I'm very into film preservation and keeping kind of these early films alive, so I just bought this and I definitely want to see like what other filmmakers they have um, in these collections because I just think they're important. So um, we have The Intrigue, which is kind of the, um, 
I guess the main film here. Um, so we have the intrigue. Oh, so she did the screenplay for that. And then um, this, is, and then the rest of these films. Okay, so these two films she wrote and directed, and then the other two she did the screenplay for, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, it talks about her on the back there. She's definitely someone who I think is pretty forgotten in film history. At least with Alice Guy Blanchet, I feel like she's had this kind of resurrection of fame. But a lot of these directors really are lost in film history. Um, so this is the back. Oh, it's all region, which is pretty nice. unwrapped just the front and the back here and then inside we get a nice little uh, booklet again which this one's pretty thin compared to the other one but it gives me some information which I'm definitely gonna read this because I do not know much about her it talks about her films and probably her screenwriting um, I like the pictures that are included as well so it's really awesome and the disc so yeah, that's the Julia Crawford Ivers one. So these are both these films, and now that I've opened them, I can definitely watch some of it, because I haven't seen most of these. I've only seen a few on this one, and I haven't seen any on here, so I'm really excited. Um, as many of you know, I'm super into uh, old film and silent film, and just... Uh, film preservation uh, in general. So these are definitely two additions to my collection and I'm going to be doing a Blu-ray update soon and some other videos so just keep a lookout for those and thank you for watching.